This car belongs to Irvin Wright. Uh, we're doing a couple of restorations for Mr. Wright. This is one that's been a complete frame off restoration. Every nut, every bolt, screw has been out of this car. Completely cleaned or replaced. Uh, it's going to be a very, very nice, expensive car when it's done. It's going to be worth upwards of you know $120,000. Uh, Mr. Wright has a few toys that he enjoys and has a lot of fun with. Uh, this one in particular is going to be a very, very nice one. This is a, a 1955 Buick Roadmaster convertible, uh, which also adds to the to the uh, value of the car. When you look at it that way, that's a lot of money just in just reconditioning some of the parts that you already have. Like the tail lights. I mean, this tail light's the size of a Toyota. You know, when you look at it that way, you could build two Toyotas out of the bumper. So, so taking on a project like this, I mean, what, what does that do for you when it's done? Uh, the satisfaction is unreal. We've, we did a, uh, a challenger for a gentleman and he did not want to see it until it was completed. So we covered it up, had it completed, had road tested it, driven it, made sure everything was good. And when he came to pick up the car, we had it covered, we uncovered it, and actually tears were in his eyes. And that was an unbelievable amount of satisfaction in seeing a customer that happy about their car. And he drives it still today. It's a driving show car. He goes to many, many shows. Uh, he's had it on TV commercials. And it's very, very rewarding to us to see things like that out, out and about. But you give a big respect to the factories when they're putting hundreds of these cars together a day. Uh, we get to do one every six months. You know, but it's a little more tedious and a little, you know, different for the situation because you're restoring something, not building something. But uh, the satisfaction is still the same. I'm sure Henry Ford had a lot of satisfaction in the first car coming off the assembly line, but not any better than us at this point. In your restoration, do you feel like you're an artist, that, that you're creating artwork? Not really. I guess it's kind of like people that save people. They think, other people think they're heroes. They think they're just normal people. We're the same way. We're pretty humble. We think we're just doing a, trying to do the best job we can for our customer to get their dollars worth. 